Hello guys, um, back with another video, and um, I picked this up today, come through the post today, from Denmark. Um, in fact, it came really fast, I was pretty shocked, because it wasn't even in the country yesterday, and um, yeah, I managed to do a pretty good deal with a guy in, uh, in Denmark, I think he posted it, maybe in... I think it was Friday he posted it. So um, I was pretty shocked when I checked the tracking and it was like loaded on the on the van. I was pretty shocked. Um, although my friends at Parcel Force, my dear friends that recently smashed up a um, just shy of £600 statue that I sent out, uh, delivered it upside down, which is always nice, you know. Um, they're wonderful people. Uh, I, you know, can't say enough uh, enough good things about those those people. Um, but that's another video. Uh, I ran about Parcel Force. I've got plenty of stories. Um, yeah. But anyway, anyway, he uh, he arrived luck, luck, thankfully in in A1 condition. And um, although I, I did decide to break one of the spears off the shield. Um, which is a bit stupid. They are very fragile, so although this is quite a hard piece to get hold of now, if you do manage to get it and you're watching this, just be careful with that shield because, I don't know, mine were a little bit brittle. Well, one of them was. But I think they're easy enough to fix up. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, I was kind of... Um, I couldn't decide whether to go for it or not. Uh, I've been watching a few videos online and looking at a few pictures, and um, I missed out on one. I want to say missed out. I was watching one a little while ago, and it sold quite quickly. And I was uh, a little bit gutted it had gone. And then another one came up, and it sold. And I actually bid it on that last one, um, but for whatever reason, uh, the same one come up for sale again. So I either had a time waster, or you know, but well. It, Back up for sale, so I did a little deal, and um, here he is. And um, what I will say is, this is definitely one of those statues that looks a lot, lot better in front of you. Um, probably even more so than um, than the Joker, the, the Joker PF I bought. Um, as fantastic as that is. This looks better from from you know videos to having it in front of you. I think um, really is a good looking piece. Let's have a little look at him. Although my cat has just decided to um, gate crash the um, the filming circle, if you like. I'm, I'm on my knees up here. That's why the camera's always shaking about. So um, he's been down the vet and he's got a bad gut. And you, Ashton. He's, uh, he's ripped all the fur off it, so he's either stressed out or he's got an allergy. Um, he's alright. He's uh, had a hard day. Anyway, <laughs> we'll work around him. Let's have a look at him. Um, I mean, look at that. He just looks awesome. That's my fantastic camera work as usual. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna cut the beers. Um, yeah, I mean, let's have a look at the base first of all. Um, my only nitpick, and this is my, this is just me, I would have preferred uh, a more substantial base. I just think, um, and it might be unfair to sort of compare it to like the Joker PF or like more recent PS but I just think um, it could have had a lot more ground underneath and give it you know, a lot more height I just had a, a chunkier base I think that would have really added a lot of impact uh, it doesn't need impact but I just think it really would have ticked every box and more um, that's just me though it is, it's a brilliant base very uh, very accurate to the scene. You've got these arrows that you can um, you can put in, or you can leave them out if you want. But three arrows that go in. 
Um, I did think about adding some blood splatter to that, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I'd have to look at the scene again. This is the scene where obviously where he's just cut all the arrows off his shield or his spear. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might do. But yeah, he's um, he is awesome, and I'm probably gonna open a can of worms here, and I really don't mean to. It's just my opinion, but obviously this does get compared to the Hot Toys uh, King Leonidas, which I think is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, it is super dear. Um, they always sell, which is one of the reasons why I didn't buy it. It was just, you know, on a good day for, you know, in the UK, you're looking at 400s upwards. And it is brilliant. I'm sure it's absolutely phenomenal in front of you, but I just couldn't justify paying that for a figure. I kind of got back into 1.6 to stop spending those sort of prices, and, and some of them are really getting expensive, which is a shame, really, but it just gives you... A, I suppose an idea of how great that figure is. It is superb. But I, in my opinion, I actually prefer the head sculpt on this. Um, and I might be unfair in saying that because I've not actually had the Hot Toys in front of me, but I just think the eyes, the darker eyes on this, um, and the teeth, the expression, it just looks to me it, I'm going to sound really crazy saying this, but it just looks like he's got a lot more anger and passion in his face than, than the Hot Toys sculpt. Um, Hot Toys just looks, it's, fan, it's brilliant, I just think, I don't know, it's probably the eyes, I just think those darker eyes really do capture King Leonidas and, and Gerard Butler in the scene. Um, you know, I, I did. I was going to get the Hot Toys version. I was actually going to have the uh, sculpt rehaired and 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 the beard redone with real hair, which I think would have it would have looked amazing. But like I say, it was just a bit pricey. I might pick him up one day. I don't know. I don't know. It's a nice figure though. But there's like, like I say, there's there's bits I prefer about this, and there's bits I prefer with the Hot Toys and. Um, one of the things I love about the Hot Toys, and I, I think they should have done it with this, is... Um, and don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic, but I would have loved to have real hair on the plume. I just think with the mixed media, the real hair would have really set it off. Um, the, the sculpt is brilliant, don't get me wrong, it is fantastic, but I just think it could have been... You know, it really could have been the money shot with, with the real hair there. It would have been absolutely phenomenal, I think. Um, the shield is, um, it's on a magnet. And he just sort of, you know, slots on. You can see his uh, Spartan sword, which is all mixed media. His spear, a spear. Um, if I just show you that, you don't really think about it, but... It's huge, and I was slightly gutted, really, because as fantastic as it is, um, I was going to put him up there, but the spear goes too far back. So I think we've got to do a little mod and have him holding it further back with a bit, of, maybe a bit of blue tack, or I've got to put him in a different position. Um, you know, it's, I, didn't, I didn't really think about it, but it is a huge spear. But it's to scale, so my fault, really. Um, the cape is it's a really nice cloth, actually. Um, very, very well weathered. You've got these little frail tears and dirt um, and stains. Looks really cool, really nice. Um, let's try and come around here. You can see his tooth on the first scene where he slays the wolf. I mean, look at that. The helmet is awesome. You can see all the little pits. The slight dents. It's like little slight dents in the shield. It really is so well done. Um, I can't make it. Yeah, Ashton's in. There he is. Here. 
Uh, there's a little bit of flex on his ponytail, which is good. Um, actually, while I'm here, I'll show you the uh, the regular head sculpt, which is again, it's a very good likeness to Gerard Butler. Nice to have a helmet and non-helmet. I just think the uh, the helmet version does look the part. Um, I've heard some people say the pose is a little bit camp, but um, I disagree. I like it. Uh, I wasn't sure at first because uh, you know you start reading and you kind of yeah yeah maybe it is, but. Um, I don't know, someone made a very good point on the forums that it looks like he's just slayed a load of uh, uh, Persians, you know, he's just absolutely slaughtered the enemy and he's, you know, that's, he's got that kind of look about him. Um, I like it, I do like it, look at that, he, he, looks, he looks awesome. Um, it is getting quite hard to get now, so... You know, I'm quite late to the party, but if you are thinking of getting it, um, definitely go for it if you're a fan of the film. And it, it is, you know, a lot of people say it, uh, it, it is one of those ones that looks so much better in, in the flesh than it does on film. Um, the camera doesn't do it justice at all. When you, when you see all the different dents in the shield, you know, you're not really picking up those sort of details and the different texture and... The mixed media is great. It's it's really good, and and the lightness is is nailed on. That, that lightness to Gerard Butler, especially on this sculpt, it's just got so much life and passion in the face and anger. Um, it's a really good sculpt, really good sculpt. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to say really. Uh, like I say, if you do get it. Be careful with the shield, like uh, I was a bit heavy handed and snapped one of the spears off, but um, I'm sure you're not as clumsy as me. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Um, I will um, I will be getting something new soon. Um, I don't know what yet, I've got my eyes on a couple of bits. Um, you know what it's like as a uh, collector's year. You've always got your eyes open and um, you get your targets and you get paid, you work your finances out and then you're not spending more than you should, probably should, but you know, such as life as being a collector I suppose. Anyway, I will um, tie this one up from the King, me and Ashton, who's uh, had a great interest in this video as you can see. Um, we will see you on the next video. Take it easy guys.